What's up, everybody? I am DJ Shockley. I appreciate you guys joining me again for Falcon Film Review presented by Microsoft Surface. And we're talking the big five sacks that the Falcons got in this ball game. But it wasn't just the sacks up front. Yeah, they got to the quarterback, but it's about all the guys around them, all 11 guys working together in conjunction to get the sacks. So some of these are cover sacks, and some of these guys are just really doing a great job of getting out the quarterback. This first one is the Grady Jarrett sack early in late in the second half right here. Here's what happens. You see Grady Jarrett in this spot here. The Falcons are going to go into some kind of, it's like zone, zone at the top, man on the bottom. And I say man at the bottom because you're going to watch here. You're going to see going go in motion. He's going to go with him, but they're going to pass it off. The secondary does such a great job of passing everything off. Look at Richie Grant. Look where his eyes are. His eyes are looking towards this particular area for anything coming across. They're going to run this guy through here, and they're going to pass him off and do a great job of coming across. You see Grady Jarrett. He's got his one-on-one -on -one down here at the bottom, and this is what you really like to see, him winning at the bottom, but also as his pocket starts to collapse. You have everybody surrounded. You got Calais doing a good job of getting to the top side. You got Bud coming to the top side. Now you got Grady to beat his guy one-on-one -on -one and pushing the pocket from the inside. Now, as he starts to climb his pocket, you ask, where can he go with this football? He doesn't look like he's pretty open. He's running into traffic. He's locked down as well. This guy, we already talked about, he's locked down. And you see vision on the inside guy. Now you got your safety, who's also got vision up to the top side. And then you got A.J. Terrell for this guy who's coming off to the side. So where does this guy go to football? He doesn't have anywhere to go with the ball. And the pocket collapses, and Grady finally gets home. An unbelievable job of the back end working with the front end again to get the sack. Let's look at Bud Dupree sack. Bud Dupree, here he is at the bottom of your screen. He's going to do a good job. Now, what the Falcons do here, it looks like they're going to be playing some kind of man coverage because it goes in motion. But on the snap of the ball, they change the coverage, and now it's zoned. Now, as you can see, the pocket is already starting to co collapse here. Grady's coming all the way around this side. Calais has good angles on here. And the good job of Bud Dupree does, he gets all the way upfield to a point, and now he's going to what you call retrace his steps. So as the quarterback starts to climb the pocket here, he will retrace his steps coming back down this, coming back down this slope here and does a great job of retracing and making the play. But let's look on the back end as well. Look at the vision that everybody has. Here's your middle linebacker. You're playing cover two. So you got cover two. You got your safety playing a deep path. You got this safety playing another deep path. And now you got half field here. You got another guy playing the flats here. And you got your three underneath defenders looking up anything coming into their particular area. So there's really nowhere for him to go with the football. And as he climbs up in the pocket, there's Bud now retracing his steps. Look at him retracing his step, coming back down what we call the stem. Coming back down his stem to come make this play. Now you look at where is he going to go with this football. Everybody has eyes on a defender. AJ Terrell had eyes on this guy, but he also has eyes on this particular guy trying to run a corner route. And then you have help over the top. So there's really nowhere really for him to go with the football. Nice job at the top over here as well with help over the top in the cover two. And that's where the dangerous areas are, in the middle of the field and on the sidelines in cover two. They do a great job of covering both angles. And now you get home, and there's the easy sack coming home again. Now one of the more emotional plays of the game was our man Calais Campbell getting his 100th sack. But it's also a great combination of the back end working with the front end. Calais Campbell, you can see him here. He's over here. But the other thing about it is they do a great job of creating one-on-ones just by the way they align. And I say the one-on-ones is, look at this side. We got three guys to the left side of, uh, of the line of scrimmage, and they have three guys to block it. So you're creating your own one-on-one -on -one just by alignment so you can't get a double team because they're already on that side of the ball. So the double team is created on that side. So as Calais gets up field, now look at this pocket. Once again, everybody's rushing with integrity. Look at this pocket. There's really nowhere for them to go inside this pocket. You got this corner sealed. You got this corner sealed. And now you say, where can he go with the football? How about nowhere? Locked down here. You got eyes on this particular guy. You got eyes here. You got outside leverage playing this guy. And then you have a Robertson in the middle of the field waiting for anything to come in this particular area and he'll take it away. Now, as the pocket starts to collapse, now you get Calais getting this sack, and then you look on the back end, like I said again, where's he gonna go with this football? Nothing, nothing, nothing here. You got your Robertson right in the middle of the field. 
AJ's got tight coverage here. You got tight coverage on the outside. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the football, and now the pocket collapses, and you can get home with just four guys, and Calais gets it done. Let's watch it from the back end because it's even more impressive from the back end. Calais, right off your corner. Here's, here's how you, I talked about creating three man to a side. Because you are on this side of the line of scrimmage, all these three guys have to take these three guys. Usually, you have maybe one guy over here and you have two on three, but they forced the one-on-ones on that side, so somebody's got to win, and Calais does a great job of winning those particular play. Just watch him. The thing I want you to, I want to point out here is, here's Calais. Watch what he does at the end of this play. He uses his strength, he uses his size and his athleticism to get rid of this guy and throw him to the side. Get out of here, and you love that, and now you go get your 100 sacks, and you go make, you go do your dirty bird. You love to see that from Calais, a really, really fun play to watch, and he did a good job here. All right, this is a big play by Arnold Ebicate at the top. You see he's at the top of your screen. The Falcons are in man coverage. Man coverage, you can see it. Here's man coverage, boom. You got this guy. This guy, he's got him. We got another lockdown player here, boom. Boom, lock down here. Everybody has a particular man on this particular play here. Now, as the play gets started, watch Arnold ABK. You're going to have a little stunt from the top. And the stunt goes like this. Arnold ABK pushes the pocket right through here. And then you get Grady Jared coming around on a looper coming around. So now you still have the pocket integrity that you like. Defense on the back end does a great job of locking it down on the back end. And the front end does a good job of rushing with integrity again. Rush it up the field, and now as he starts to elude, now you're gonna get pressure outside and he's gonna try to climb the pocket, but at this moment, there's nowhere to go with the football again. Nowhere to go with the football here. You think about, he's locked down. Here's another lockdown situation here. And here's our robber in the middle of the field again who does such a good job of looking up routes. So if anybody, if this guy wanted to come this way, he would take him and because he has outside leverage. But Jeff Okuda does such a great job because he has this man in man coverage, and this guy wants to run this outbreaking route, but he's already outside. Now watch what he does. As the motion comes, boom. Now he's in his hip pocket. Now Sam Howell is trying to climb up in the pocket, but once again, rushing with gap integrity. Where is he supposed to go with this? Good job of staying contained on the outside here at the top. Good job of Arnold right here coming around, having contained at the bottom. And now you got nowhere to push up in the pocket. You say, okay, where is he going to go with this football? Let's highlight his guys that are in this particular play. Lockdown, 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 lockdown. Nowhere for him to go with this football. So now your D line can get home because your back end is working so well with the front end. And now you get home and there's the big sack by Arnold Eby Katie. Nice job there of creating that sack and getting home. Now here's the last part of this sack that I want to show you. Once again, the theme is creating one-on-one. -on -one. Ryan Nielsen does such a great job of creating one-on-ones for his big-time pass rushers. Look up here. They're again, they're on this side of the football, so they have to block all three of these guys one-on-one. -on -one. He's got to block him one-on-one. -on -one. He has to block him one-on-one. -on -one. Now he has to block Calais one-on-one. -on -one. You love what you get up front and watch the action as the play gets going. Nice job of pushing here. Another game up front. Pushing this so much that now he pushes this guard out of the way, and now it leaves room for Calais to come on around soon as the quarterback thinks, oh, I can climb the pocket right here. But no, you got leverage on that guy, and now you create it, you get upfield. Boom, nice job of just corralling him and staying inside the pocket, really nowhere for him to go in this ball game. The Falcons defense did such a great job of working from the front end to the back end. That's why you're able to get five sacks in this ball game and held them to 193 total yards. Well done by this defense. They're playing at a high level and they continue to do it the way this way. It's going to be fun to watch. I'm DJ Shockley. I want to thank you guys for joining me for Falcons Film Review presented by Microsoft Surface. We'll see you next week.